a snow Eskimo. I'm really excited about it. Sexy Eskimo. Mm -hmm. event or are we calling it the mermaid princess look but here it is and we are going to show you how to do it first thing of course i'm going to use mario badesco rose water So I'm going to use the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. This has like a nice lavender ingredient in it that hydrates even more. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm just going to put it at the high points of her cheekbones. What this does is when light hits her face, it'll create like a beautiful luminous look. I'm lactose intolerant, which I just found out. Not fun. <laughs> not fun. How can I not eat cheese? No, seriously. Like, why? Then with the DAP Beauty Blender, you're just gonna go over the strobe lotion and just press it in. Then I'm gonna pick up on a little bit of Tom Ford foundation. And you don't wanna go over wherever you strobe. You're just gonna go right underneath. The more time to get ready, the better, in my opinion, because I never get tired of cleaning. Now what I'm doing is I picked up Anastasia Dip Brow, and she already has a beautiful shape to her brows. I'm just lightly going in and filling it. I'm gonna pick up this tart brush. It makes contouring very, very easy. And you just wanna go underneath and create the shadow right below her cheekbone. Now we're gonna go around her lip with a dark color, and we're going to enhance the lip. So crazy right now. You look beauty, but trust me, trust us, guys. It's gonna look really good. Then I'm gonna make a line down the center of her lips. Now what this does, it gives like that Angelina Jolie pout. But I decided today, surprisingly, here it is, drum roll. I don't want my lips to look that big today. <laughs> Stop laughing, you're embarrassing me. So I'm gonna go back to the same brush with the residue of the foundation and I'm going to blend both these colors in together. We're gonna just contour her nose. The wider you put your darker lines, the wider you're gonna make your nose look. I'm gonna go in with concealer. What I'm using on her is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and we're gonna go with a pink tone. I personally love the pink undertones. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move on to the eyes after setting her under eyes. And I'm just going to use like a Morphe blending brush. You can use any blending brush. So what we're going to do is just add dark brown on the edges of her eyes. It'll give you a cat eye effect when you do this. Now I'm going to pick up on Tom Ford Cream Shadows. And I'm just going to make strokes downwards on the only open area that we see. I'm going to pick up on a black shadow with a small pencil brush and I'm just going to swipe it towards the edge of her lid. Okay, now so her wig. It is not a wig, shut up. Oh, sorry. Still what are we calling it? Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go in her natural, quote unquote, <laughs> my natural <lips>. hairline. <laughs> Using the Bobbi Brown chestnut. I'm gonna go in with the Chanel powder. I'm 
just going to break it down with dimension by pushing it up. I'm gonna pick up on some blush. It's Kylie's favorite thing, rosy cheeks. <laughs> We're just going to pat it on onto the apples of her cheeks. So then I'm going to use a curler just to curl her lashes. That was important. Did you? Did I? You just got scared. Oh. <laughs> It's really important to curl before applying lashes on because then you have both of them going the same way. Picking up on a strip of lashes and I cut off the edges of it for it to fit her eye a little bit better. After applying them all, I'm just going to very lightly connect it all together. I'm doing a music video. <laughs> yeah. 